All right, everyone. Today, or tonight, or whenever you're listening to this, uh, we're looking at Super Mario 3D All-Stars, and it's kind of a graphical comparison. However, this is more of uh, just kind of looking at how incredible uh, 3D All-Stars versions of the games look compared to the original. And we're talking like OG, you know, what it actually looked like back in the day, not like what you're going to get on an emulator or like just straight off virtual console or something like that. Uh, before we get into that, I want to mention we are giving away three copies of Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Hit the Gleam.io link down in the description to enter that. Also, you can join at patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime for as little as $1 a month. Get to 15 entries into every giveaway we do. We have a second giveaway as well for Nintendo, Switch Lite, and then two Switch games of choice. Uh, again, like the way to enter that's down in the des description as well. All right. So, uh, this comes from Nintendo Life uh, by my good pal Alex. Alex only. I've talked to him before. He's, he's a good guy. Uh, they put up a, a, a full nine-minute video doing a, a huge graphical comparison. I will have that video linked down in the description. There will be clips from that video throughout this one, but uh, it will not like be you know the whole thing. I'm not just going to take his whole video here, uh, but I do want to talk about it. So he, the reason I'm, I'm focusing on him, there, there, there's oodles and oodles and oodles of these graphical comparisons out there. It's because of the methodology he used, okay? So you're going to see some screenshots and stuff here. Uh, so the methodology used is trying to get as close to what the games actually looked like back in the day versus today. It's hard to do because we're not using CR CRT TVs and stuff like that, especially with Mario 64. Um, but here's what he did. They used an original N64, uh, but they got it captured uh, through the cleanest signal they could possibly get from it. Um, they use the Ultra HDMI N64 mod, um, the GameCube HD MK2 GameCube adapter, and then a Wii U running in Wii mode. That's the easiest way to get, to get Wii, Wii footage. Uh, and they converted it to a digital signal, which is what was available on the Wii, which is actually kind of tricky to convert it to a digital signal because you want it you want to make it a signal that's representative of the time period uh, but still obviously make it capturable so this is basically as close as you can get to direct comparisons to what back in the day actually looked like versus well now on this now as you're seeing in the screenshots and in the footage the game obviously looks good i i think there has been especially in motion when you see the clips of it it looks really good in motion i think what happened in, in, in this whole snafu um because the, the people think it's a low effort and it does look like nintendo maybe tossed this together in six months or something like that and it's emulators but we can't undersell that the hd of these games is a big deal like i i wish that they were rebuilt from the ground up i wish they were full-on remakes and remasters or whatever uh but they're not. What they are are resolution bumps. But those resolution bumps are very important. If nothing else, Super Mario 3D All-Stars is proof that resolution matters. We often talk about how, oh, the resolution is not what's important on Switch. Like There's games that drop to 360p in handheld, but the resolution isn't what matters. It's the gameplay that matters. But resolution matters. These older games clearly look better. I mean, you could read the signs in Super Mario 64 now. Like, resolution matters. And I think it's always mattered. It's just, people have this funny way of going through uh, this 3D All-Star stuff and being really excited for it, as you should be. Uh, but also, maybe not being fair to how big of a deal just HD in the games really is. I mean, if Nintendo just did this to the entire GameCube, N64, Wii library, most of us would be thrilled like how awesome would it be if they just hd'd all those games forget remaking them and redoing the visuals just putting them in an hd resolution just up resing how how happy would we be if nintendo did that and here they did it to three of the best in my opinion mario games ever made and it does look really good you know nintendo life you know claims that you know it, it looks you know miles better than the originals um i think it looks significantly better I don't know about miles better, but significantly better. I think that uh, this is just reaffirming my purchase. There, there's some people out there that obviously aren't happy with this. We've seen the reviews. We talked about that. I did a whole video about the reviews and my problem with some of the reviews. Not all of them, but some of them. But this is just about how big of an upgrade is this really? And it's definitely noticeable. And that, to me, is what matters. It is a noticeable upgrade it is noticeably 
a better experience. The best versions of Mario 64, Sunshine, and, well, Galaxy are on Switch. And that matters. It matters that the best versions of these games are here. Now, you can argue the best versions are ROMs on a computer running you know, user-made mods and, and graphical upgrades and ray tracing and whatever else people are throwing in these things on computers. But that's besides the point. The best official copy of these games are on Switch. And that matters. It, it really does matter. I mean, there's been so much hype for this game. By the way, if you want to get the game early, hey, I did a video on that as well. Again, I'm putting these little video annotations in, so hopefully you guys are, are catching on here as I'm trying to interlink the videos and give you guys an opportunity to check out some of the other stuff we've talked about. Um, I also talked about how you can actually get uh, Super Mario 3D All-Stars for $50 on launch. So check that video out too, man. It's it's crazy. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just really thrilled about this. I think the game compares very, very, fairly decently well. And you know what? I'm just going to let you guys have you know a minute or so here of some of this footage uh, with the sound on, so you know maybe you can get more into the experience, more into the ambiance. All right, folks, I'll catch you in the next video.